and I was looking at the lady like, ma'am, when am I supposed to do this? And she's looking at me like, girl, what are you supposed to do with one liter of alcohol or peroxide? And I was like, touche, you got me there. up my name is Haley welcome to my youtube channel if you did not know now you do hey you guys what's up so in today's video y'all I'm gonna be talking about some ideas some concepts and some things that aren't really common in Germany I've been getting a message recently or I don't know as of late asking me about a specific item and I didn't really want to make a video tailored to just that item so I decided to make a list of things that aren't really common here in Germany and hopefully it helps some people that might be coming here soon with all that being said I don't want to make this intro too long you might as well subscribe follow me on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up so the first thing you guys is that if you're coming from the United States and you're like me you know what the humongous jugs clear and brown bottle of alcohol and peroxide are when I came to Germany I asked for you know those big bottles and I was pleasantly surprised when I got something like this big full of peroxide and alcohol. In the United States, I use alcohol and peroxide for everything. I use it for cleaning, I use it for whitening purposes. If I have like dirty shoes and I want the stuff to be white again, I use alcohol or peroxide. If I have a cut, I don't know. I just use it for everything. It's an all around thing that I keep in the house. And I was looking at the lady like, ma'am, what am I supposed to do with this? And she's looking at me like, girl, what are you supposed to do with one liter of alcohol or peroxide? And I was like, touche, you got me there. And the thing is, Germany is a little bit more cautious. I don't want to say strict because that sounds so negative, but they're a little bit more cautious when it comes to medical goods or services. So something that you could easily buy or that's easily accessible in the United States, you could literally probably buy some of the medicine or drugs um, in the United States at the gas station that you wouldn't even be able to get at a pharmacy or hospital here in Germany. Sarcasm a little bit, but honestly, truly. Mike was surprised when you could walk into even a grocery store and there would be five aisles of just pure medicine. So if you're a humongous fan of alcohol or peroxide, probably not going to find it here in Germany. You can find other means or methods to do whatever you do with those things, or you can find other alternatives for those things. The next one is going to be catcalling. This isn't really a thing, but it's a concept, an idea. So coming from the United States, this is so nice. It's a breath of fresh air, not having to be whistled at or, you know, I don't know, snap at or anything like that. I've talked about this before in a few other videos, but I decided to add it here because it is something that always when I come here I'm like relieved and sometimes it's very stressful walking down a street in the United States and a guy saying something to you or you know having eyes constantly on you. Of course it happens sometimes in Germany, but I don't feel as um, I guess watched, <laughs> um, viewed. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. It's so, such a nasty feeling. And it's also so nasty hearing a Hey, 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 smile. Hey girl, hey girl, ma'am. I don't like that. If you like catcalling and you need attention and you need affection from strangers, this probably isn't the country for you and you might as well look somewhere else because it's not gonna happen here like you want it to. The next one is going to be creamer. And this one's also very hard for me to explain to you guys, but I'm gonna try my best. So when you come from the United States, I don't know, a lot of people like to drink their coffee with creamer. In the United States, there's like the substance. I'm gonna call it a substance because for me it's disgusting. And it's like oil, fat, additives, flavoring mixed together to create something that adds consistency, consistency, richness and texture to your coffee. And a lot of people love it. You can go to a grocery store and you'll see a whole refrigerated aisle of just creamers to choose from. The next point, which probably has no business being in this video, but I decided might as well add it because one day Haley's gonna have a wedding. One fine day and it's gonna be in Germany. No, but seriously, um, in Germany, for weddings, there usually are no bridesmaids. It's just you, your husband, or whoever you get married to. And then you have either, I think, two witnesses, and those are the people that have to go with you and sign the paperwork, I believe, but they don't really stand up there and wait for you while you're walking down the aisle and are like, oh my god, my friend is so pretty. No, that doesn't happen <laughs> here. Um, I don't know what I like. I think I would like to have something in the middle if I could have like two people standing with me and have very pretty dresses on and have a nice, you know, color combination that's very photo aesthetically pleasing. I think that would be nice, but I don't need like 20 people. I don't even know 20 people or 20 friends like that to ask them to be my bridesmaids. So no problem there. 
lonely Haley. If you're a person that's getting married anytime soon and you're looking for a very German wedding, German people don't have a humongous bridal party. But if you're looking to switch it up and you know jazz it up, the United States standards, just throw in some bridesmaids. You know, have your fun. I guess do whatever you want that's fun for you. I'm just letting you guys know that it's not that common. People might be looking at you like you're crazy when you have four other women walking in front of you with beautiful dresses down the aisle. They'll be like, what the heck? Why? What? The next point is going to be trick-or-treating. I've talked about this before. I've actually made videos talking about the cultural differences between Halloween in the United States and Germany, but I wanted to include this as well because Halloween is right around the corner. When you're coming from the United States, Halloween is probably one of the biggest holidays or what is it called? What's Christmas, Valentine's Day? Um, is it a holiday? It's the time of the year where a bunch of people spend the most money. I think Christmas would probably be the number one, but Halloween is a humongous deal in the United States. People like to decorate, people like to go trick-or-treating, people like costumes, people spend a whole bunch of effort, time, and money on this time of the year, fall. So growing up, I went trick-or-treating every year until I was probably 20-something, because even when in my 20s, in my adult years, we had adult-themed trick-or-treating where you would go in the dark and search for eggs that were like black, and then inside the eggs they would have special prizes like getting your nails done, getting your hair done, money or expensive candies or nice just presents that you probably wouldn't give a kid and when I came to Germany and I started watching children I was so excited about trick-or-treating and Halloween and not a single you know decoration ornament pumpkin was put out for the fall season but yeah it's not really that big of a deal in Germany and they don't really have it here so if you love Halloween um, you're either gonna have to a make your own Halloween party or find people that are actually into it there are people that love Halloween here but it's not the majority I feel like and a lot of people that do celebrate Halloween celebrate it at restaurants bars clubs and their Halloween costumes are more on the scary side than the sexy cute funny side I feel like that's more reserved for carnival which happens happens in like February beginning of the year so a lot of people they invest a lot of time and money during that holiday the last and final point which is the point that I've been getting the most messages and comments about has been pumpkin spice everyone has been asking me where can they get pumpkin spice anything from pumpkin pumpkin spice lattes pumpkin um, bread pumpkin this pumpkin that and unfortunately I hate pumpkin spice everything i hate pumpkin spice lattes i hate pumpkin flavored drinks the only thing that i really like are pumpkin soups and pumpkin seeds and until i moved to germany i never liked pumpkin i could not stand the taste of it i could not stand the consistency of it but when i moved here and i actually started eating it um, it was very very delicious and i think the thing is because in the united states we don't really use real pumpkin we use a pumpkin flavor or pumpkin additive of some sort that it isn't the true real flavor of a pumpkin it's this very sweet pumpkiny flavor and um, we just I don't know we just make it so sweet when it comes to pumpkin spice you guys the best thing I can offer for you because like I said you're not really going to find it at a bunch of coffee shops here some Americanized ones yes um, I think even Starbucks here in Europe I'm saying Europe as a whole has added pumpkin spice to their rotation their yearly rotation so you might be able to find it at some of the very big metropolitan Starbucks but if you can't find it there and you're really into that kind of stuff I know that on Amazon they have pumpkin spice flavoring pumpkin spice um, syrup that you can add to your coffee so you can find it there 1000% or I'd recommend bringing some from the United States because you can buy it very cheap it's relatively small the spices and whatnot and the syrups in the United States so you can just bring it with you and if you really love it that's the best option that I have for you so yeah other than that you guys thank you so much for watching um, I'm gonna be posting a hello fresh video sometime very soon because I bought a box recently and I'm making Mike try all the meals and before anyone hates me for it I know I know I could probably buy all this food myself but I wanted to give it a try why not try something different other than that you guys thank you so much I love y'all have a wonderful day and bye bye